What's up, guys? Carter Ritzby tripping out here at a site. The site that we service, these are two N5 Bitmain containers. They're 20 footers. They hold roughly about 160 machines in there. Um, and uh, you really only want to put about 120 in there if you don't have any power assisted fan type of situation. So these have louvers that are automatic on them and they uh, essentially you're relying on the miner to do all of the work when it comes to uh, expelling the heat. And the design of them are in such a way that the miners are pushed up towards the end to where, you know, there's about a, a foot and a half, two feet gap between the edge of the miner where it's exhausting the fans and um, where you can get the heat out. And it really puts a strain on the miners. Uh, as we've noticed, we've went through a lot of fans in these type of sites. So um, it's just one of those things to be conscious of if you're buying the N5 container from Bitmain where they don't have extra uh, fans to assist on exiting the, uh, you know, the, the excess heat. So we're out here replacing some fans, doing some cleanup and uh, just doing our normal maintenance stuff. So I was just trying to bring you guys with a little more frequency in the videos, um, kind of show you our day in the life out here with the BBT team and just, you know, what we're doing from a servicing standpoint. Let's take a look at this container. That way you can kind of see what I'm talking about here. So now we're back at the shop and you know we bring back a few of the machines uh, some more a little more than a few so this is from both sites and we have to inventory stuff so we what we want to do when you have you know more than just a couple machines you're going to want to keep kind of track on its life cycle and part of this comes from like just the enterprise experience of building data centers and having a full life cycle you know, uh, workflow when it comes to understanding, you know, from purchasing something through all of its different fixes and stuff, you want to have a system that allows you to kind of track things. So when we look here, we can see each of the asset tags that we have for these particular machines, issues, when it was, you know, when we received it in, what the date that it was fixed on, and then essentially kind of things that are kind of open with issues, uh, you know, outstanding. So we put these kind of like in a, you know, they're stuck, we're waiting for parts and you can break this down to like, this one needs a controller and a uh, PSU. Like the both things are usually, uh, both things in this particular one has issues, the controller doesn't work and the PSU is having issues. Um, and then, so we verified that the controller is having issues. There's no LED lights in here. And then we'll add a sub item under this one once we, have fully checked out the PSU, but right now that PSU doesn't even power up. So that needs to get added here as a ticket, as an example, like a sub ticket under this item. And then that allows us to kind of go through and have some basic metrics to see, you know, do we have a systemic issue? Is there, you know, oh, you know, particular issues with a, a trend with the machines? We've seen this with some of the older, like S17s uh, units, and then some of the early S19s had kind of a systemic issue. And I know some of those folks out there with like XPs are having this kind of issue right now. There's been quite a few issues with XPs and power supplies and stuff. So it, it does give us some good data to then go back to the manufacturers and say, you know, here's our telemetry on our repairs and how often and when it happened. And if we have a repeat issue with the machine from a life cycle standpoint. So then also after we have went through a few cycles with these replace things, it's good to have that information for like, if you're going to go back to the reseller market with it and say, you know, here, I have a whole history of this machine. You know, it's had control boards. It was replaced from this hash boards that if they've gotten fixed, that kind of thing. So I like trying to make sure for at least our operation, we have an accounting of not just the issues, but like the full life cycle of those units. So just kind of give you guys some more insight of it, like a day in the life. I know we haven't had a lot of ton of videos with you guys, but we've been really refining our own processes and then to come to you guys instead of just, you know, crawl, walk, running through, you know, finding better ways to do it now that we have kind of established processes, 
you know, bringing those to you guys. So hopefully you guys like this quick video today, I'm trying to keep the frequency high on these newer videos. Peace, my dudes.